What's going on, you wild bikers out there? Your two favorite crotch rockets are back tonight. We're talking about the brand new Jeff Nichols film. He directed this one, of course. He's directed a lot of movies that we've enjoyed over the years. Mud, Midnight Special. And he brings along a lot of his actors that he's used from previous movies for this one. Uh, but this one in particular, we're talking about, it stars Austin Butler with his perfect hair and beautiful goatee right there behind Logan. Whoa. Then we have, of course, Tom Hardy. What's that? What'd you say, Tom? I can't understand you. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Judy Comer over there, don't you know? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize he was in Fargo in this movie in Chicago, eh? <laughs> That's right, we're talking about the bike riders. That's right. These wild bikers are back to talk about the brand new film, The Bike Riders. I was really excited to see this. I remember seeing a trailer, I think back in March. I'm like, oh, it's a bunch of my favorite actors and they're bikers. So that's cool. It takes place in the 1960s. Of course, based off the book with a bunch of pictures, the real life characters in Chicago, the Vandals, a biker club, um, you know, how it all started, how they had built this relationship, the trouble they get into and, and stuff like that. And that's really what we have here with Kathy, she's more of the narrator, played by Jody Comer, and of course Benny, played by Austin Butler, and Johnny Tom Hardy. Yeah, and uh, Jody Comer's character, she's Kathy. She's getting, you know, uh, she's having an interviewer there with her the whole time, and she's basically given the story of this motorcycle club, the Vandals, and that's you know where we are first introduced to in a bar of all places where she ends up seeing Benny for the first time. Benny, played by Austin Butler, he's shooting pool. He's got the tank top on, showing off his for some reason oiled muscles, and he's got perfectly coiffed hair. You know he's got little dirt rubbed on him to make him look tough. He first smolders onto the screen there as Benny. Um, you know. Uh, doesn't have a lot to say, but uh, instantly she, you know, sets eyes on him and that sets up the whole love story throughout the, the rest of the film. And then you have, of course, Tom Hardy's character, Johnny, who's the leader of the Vandals. So it's basically following along from the beginning, uh, the forming of this uh, motorcycle group and to where they end up. And, you know, the over the course of the years, how, you know, things go wrong towards the end. And, you know, eventually the bike, uh, the motorcycle gang morphs into something totally different than it started out with where its original purpose was to get these guys together. It was counterculture. It was, you know, like a brotherhood. There wasn't a lot of violence at first, but of course, you know, bad people get involved and violence happens and it poisons the whole club. Pretty interesting premise. I thought, you know, Jeff Nichols was going about this like a Scorsese flick, but just not as good. <laughs> a little slow, I will say that, but uh, it's interesting, you know, with the characters, you know, a lot of character development with this, a lot of bikers, you know, you're introduced to in this gang. Johnny, I thought was pretty interesting, played by Tom Hardy, because he basically got the idea from the Brando movie, The Wild One start a bike club yep. you know of course gets introduced to benny and the rest of the gang that uh, they show in the movie um, but he was more interested in the idea it felt like instead of being a true leader talking about johnny and benny's right. just kind of the rebel bad boy i should say pretty mm -hmm. boy doesn't say much in the movie but he's just always there and getting into fights and silly situations with other people yeah johnny could definitely see in benny like somebody that should actually like run the club and lead it into the future he was actually, you know, because Benny was willing to fight for it, and he did in several instances throughout the film. He was willing to, you know, fight for the club, and, uh, you know, that led to some broken bones and near death for his character in the film. And, you know, yeah, like you mentioned, Johnny liked the idea more than actually going through and risking his life for it. This cast is stacked, and like I mentioned before, Jeff Nichols brings over some actors from his other films, Midnight Special. We have, uh, you know, Michael Shannon. 
with some long hair here, who does a great job here. You know, we're used to Michael Shannon playing kind of the clean cut characters a lot of the time. Here he has long hair. He's got the beard, looks totally different. He's like the drunk, like, you know, uh, one of the drunk outlaws of this. Doesn't have a lot of dialogue, but uh, definitely looks the part. I was impressed seeing him. Uh, Damon Harriman. Um, who, of course, has been in a bunch of stuff. You know, he played uh, Charlie Manson a few years ago and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and he was unjustified and has shown up in a lot. He fit in with the gang, too. You know, he looked the part for that time period, too. He fit in real good. And then Boyd Hallbrook. Um, and then, you know, we even get some surprises along the way. The cameo that you had mentioned to me. And when I saw him roll up there, I was like, OK, that's what it was. Yeah. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't see that coming. I'm like, it makes sense, yeah. you know, biker, playing a biker yeah. and a biker movie, yeah, for sure. But yeah, this rotted teeth, I totally <laughs> yeah. that character. Yeah. But uh, Michael Shannon definitely stole the show. I thought, I thought he was amazing, especially mm -hmm. seen towards the end with another biker club, um, some trouble they get into. But I thought he was really cool and laid back and relaxed, not over the top in this movie. A true Chicagoan. Uh, but yeah, there's some people that show up, some big, uh, big names that show up in this movie without spoiling too much. But uh, I love the. The chemistry they had with this, you know, biker club back then, the 1960s, of course, you had the great music in the background, creating this cool vibe back then, 60 years ago. It definitely had all the makings of like a movie that should have been like, you know, a, a new classic or something like that. Like you had mentioned, he was going kind of for like a Scorsese kind of, uh, you know, approach to this. It didn't work all the way, though, like you had mentioned, it was just a little too slow. At times, like you mentioned, I was expecting more action out of it, I guess. And maybe that's my problem for my expectations going in. I put my expectations too much on it. But yeah, just the the stakes didn't seem high enough for me. Like the way things turned out with the characters too. Like it, it was shocking and everything how it ended up, but it didn't have that impact that I was hoping for. Not to say that it's it's a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. The performances are great. I, You know, yet another great role for Austin Butler. And he didn't have to say a lot here. But, you know, just his accent alone in this, he finally ditches the Elvis accent that's gone. It seems seemingly gone. I didn't hear that at all in this one. He, he sounded totally different in this. And he, he played that character pretty awesome. You know, he put his stamp on it and seemed like he could, you know, be a legit, um, you know, uh, rider in a, in a motorcycle gang like this and had some cool fight scenes with them. And Tom Hardy, of course, you know, he's always the, the tough, tough guy. Same thing with him, you know, as his usual roles, it's hard to understand him. He mumbles a lot and just, he can't really shake that, you know, where you just either love or don't love Tom Hardy. Um, you know, he's just Tom Hardy pretty much in this. And, you know, the, the main issue that both of us had with the film was uh, uh, Jody's accent. Apparently, from what I heard behind the scenes, this was like how that lady actually talked. So it just sounded, it didn't sound Chicago to either of us. It sounded more like she was from Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, growing up in Illinois and being around, living in Chicago, yeah, I've never heard anybody talk like that. So I don't, <laughs> maybe that lady was from Fargo for some odd reason, you know, in the book. But yeah, that annoyed the piss out of me in this movie, Jody Comer. Not a fan of hers, and she was the weakest link in the movie. Yeah, and Mike Face is the one who's interviewing her. We remember him from uh, Challengers, the bleach blonde hair and that. And I thought he did a good job as the interviewer yeah. um, in this. Um, other actors that I noticed in, uh, Emery Cohen played Cockroach. Paul Sparks was in it. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, overall, you know, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. I was really excited to see this one at the theater. We got to see it uh, not too long ago. Bit of a slow ride, sort of speak, on a motorcycle, but just really trying to dive into these characters, you know, uh, the relationships, you know, the supporting cast, this big club building, this huge group going on in these long, you know, rides throughout Illinois, you know, the cornfields in the background and stuff like that and building, building up this team and the craziness they get into, but um, yeah, I really enjoyed Austin Butler, Tom Hardy supporting cast is really great in this. Um, I was hoping for more. With that being said, I'm going to give the bike riders currently playing in cinemas. I'm give it a three and a half out of five. Tom Hardy hair pieces. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the same as you. Was expecting a little bit more. Definitely not a bad film, though. Great performances and a, a cool story, you know, a cool look at that time period and being in Illinois, you know, seeing them ride through the cornfields and all that. That was pretty cool. 
to know that this was based in our home state, of course. Um, yeah, Austin Butler keeps on killing it. Uh, yeah, Jody Comer, her performance was fine. It was just the accent it drove me nuts <laughs> for what, you know, but it didn't detract from the movie in any way or anything. Uh, you know, it was just missing a little secret sauce. It could have been, it could have been really good, but uh, it was just good for me. Maybe the book's better. Would be willing to check that out and read that though. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to give Jeff Nichols, the bike riders, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five Austin Butler hair pieces. <laughs> Super excited for this. Hanging out with the bikers back in the wild west days. I'm like, yeah, this would be good. I was thinking it'd be like sons of anarchy action and stuff where mm -hmm. it's not related to fight scenes. I'm like, bummer. Anyways, I want to hear from all you wild bikers out there. What did you like about the bike riders? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to drive. <laughs> subscribe check out these wild mechanics on facebook x and instagram and our website cinefels.com for the latest greatest tv movie news and reviews so thank you for watching these two vandals give our review of the bike riders and until the next cinefellas movie review i'm uncle henry hardy and i'm uncle logan butler signing out until the next movie review Cheers, Cheers. Cheers.